Let us try to understand how to analyze a scatter plot for functions and how to write down domain and range for such a relation. The question here is use vertical line test to justify which graph is a function. State domain and range for both the relations. So we are given two relations here and we need to figure out whether they are functions or not. Well, vertical line test helps us to figure it out. It means if we draw a vertical line and if it intersects at two places, then it is not a function. In the first case, as you can see, the vertical line goes through two points. Do you see that? And therefore, it is not a function, right? So we say not a function. However, in the second graph, any vertical line will, will go through only just one point. Therefore, this is a function. Correct? Now, let us write down domain and range for both the relations. Now, domain here is set of x values. The domain of this relation is all these x values. So this x value is minus 3, then we have minus 2, minus 1. Let me write down. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And this point corresponds to 2, right? And then 0 also, right? So we have 0 and 2. So that takes care of all the points and that is our domain. So each element on the x value, right? Now, range is the y values of these coordinate points. So this point corresponds to 3. So we have y value of 3. And then we have y value of 2. Well, there are two points to 2. There is one with 4 also. So let me include 4 also. Then this is 0. Okay. And then we have minus 2. So we have... 3, 2, 4, 0, minus 2. Well, it could be written in a proper order, writing minus 2, 0, 2, 3, and 4. Well, anyway, this is not wrong. You'll observe that number of elements in the domain are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of elements in range are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so there are same number of elements in both domain and range. Okay, but if I write the coordinate points, you will find that for 0, we have two values of y. That is to say that we have this coordinate point as 0 plus 2 and then this one as 0 minus 2. So 0 is associated with two elements in the range. 2 and minus 2 and that is the reason why it is not a function okay now let us look into the other function now here we have one two three four five points domain is all the x values of these points so we can write down domain as, let me write down here, domain as equals to, starting from the leftmost, we have it minus 3, then minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 2. As far as range is concerned, range is the y values. So the y value here is 3, and here the y value is minus 2. So range is 3 and minus 2. Well, it is not asked here for, but we could actually write each relation as a set of ordered pairs, right? So let me write down these relations as a set of ordered pairs, and from there you can check your domain range. So for the first one, let me say f, or let's say f of, which is not a function, but in any case, let me not use this. Okay, let's say a, right? So A could be written as coordinate points. This one is minus 3, 3. 
and then we have minus 2 2 and then we have minus 1 0 okay minus 1 0 and then we have 0 2 then we have 0 minus 2 and then we have 2 4 so you can check 1 2 3 4 5 6 points 1 2 3 4 5 we are missing 1 so the x values are minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 0 since 0 repeats okay and then we have 2 correct so 2 times that is correct and the range values are the y coordinates which is 3 2 0 2 2 repeats and that's y okay minus 2 and 4 perfect so that is set a and set b is coordinate points which is minus 3 3 then we have minus 2 3 minus 1 3 0 minus 2 and 2 minus 2 so that is the relation B this is the relation A all the x elements are part of domain which I mentioned here and all the y elements are part of range right if the values are repeated we don't write them two times we write them just once so that is how we'll write domain range when a graph is given a scatter plot is given to us okay so these are the ways in which we can write the domain range and we have seen how vertical line test justifies whether the given relation is a function or not now in the first set first relation is not a function since for x value of 0 we have two y values 2 and minus 2 and therefore it is not a function it is a relation though the second one is a function since it passes vertical line test okay i hope that makes it clear thank you and all the best